lean, mean, and mono green in today's video. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day, and thank you all for taking the time to support the channel. I truly appreciate it. Within this video, we will be showcasing a new mono green aggro deck within the Outlaws of Thunder Junction early access event. Now, thank you, Wizards. Truly appreciate you hosting this event, bringing it back for not only the creators, but the community at large. You know, I really like showcasing the new cards, specifically the rares and mythics, so you can gain a deeper um, perspective of whether or not they're worth your wild cards, right? Um, furthermore, you know, we get new cards to play with and we're playing against the best in the biz, other creators and pro tour players, which is phenomenal. So very excited for today's video. If you want to help out, like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, join that community discord. Okay. We're going to take a look at today's deck, breaking it down in depth, discussing both the strategies as well as synergies, giving you, I hope, a deeper understanding of how to pilot this deck effectively and efficiently allowing you to rack up those W's. Furthermore, demonstrating this against all of the other creators in the space, uh, pro tour players, individuals invited to this uh, limited access event, which is pretty exciting. Uh, and furthermore, we're gonna wrap up with our final thoughts, deck review, channel news. Yeah? If you wanna help out, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, join the community Discord. But most importantly, kick back, relax, and enjoy. It's a new lap record. Here we are. Now, full disclosure. Now, this is a community deck, right? We had a donation. Uh, you know, will you play my deck for the early access event? Oh, absolutely. Now, if you want your deck showcased, I'd love a donate <laughs> to join the community discord. I'm sure we could work something out. So, go Calper. Thank you for the deck. It actually slaps. Let's break it down for everyone here. We have a couple new cards in the build. Um, the Gold Vein Hydra. Holy Toledo's. This is a one mana plus X zero zero vigilance trample haste creature. <laughs> what? That enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. When the Hydra dies, uh, create a number of tap treasures equal to its power, which is great for the next Hydra. Yeah. Um, not to mention all of your other spells, I suppose. So a new card that we are playtesting with, and I, I, I love it. You know, what's not to love? Uh, I don't think it's a, a very big mystery there. Railway Brawler, uh, another sweetheart of ours for five mana is a five, five. Becky, look at that butt. Reach Trample, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put X plus one plus one counters on it where X is its power. So it loves uh, to spread it around. You know, plot for four, which is nice. We'll pay that. It goes into exile. We can cast it on a following turn at sorcery speed for free which is pretty cool of course and we will be utilizing more of that mechanic in the deck so uh what i love about this build is that it's not gonna break the budget you know i showcased uh my last deck naya artifacts literally melting people's wildcard stash this is gonna you know play that middle ground and is really really budget friendly some other new cards in the deck alongside the brawler and the hydra will be the uh, Beast Bond Outcaster, 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, if you control a creature with power 4 or greater, draw a card. Uh, yeah, we will be doing that. And in all honesty, plotting it for 2, drawing a card, not terrible. Because, you know, you might not want to play this as a 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. Still, the draw is not, not bad. But the fact that you can plot it and reduce its casting cost by 1 is really, really good, I feel. And on that note, we also have the Aloe Alchemist for two mana as a three, two with Trample. And when it becomes plotted, target creature gets plus three, plus two, and gains Trample until the end of turn, uh, which is pretty decent. The plot here is for two. So, you know, not reducing its mana value through the plot, but gaining some extra value within your card base through that plus three, plus two ability, uh, which is really, really nice, right? So uh, our final new card that we will be utilizing here is the Drover Grizzly for three. It's a 4-2, which is pretty decent, a four power creature for three. And whenever it attacks while saddled, creatures you control gain trample until the end of turn. This is going to increase not only our consistency, but output uh, throughout uh, you know, that damage, right? Which is quite nice. 
Aside from that, um, blending in some older cards within the deck. It's going to be the Evolving Dap Adaptive. A 0, zero for 1. When it enters the battlefield, put a plus uh, an oil counter on it. And it also receives an oil counter whenever you play a creature that has greater power or toughness than itself. And it gets plus 1, plus 1 for each oil counter that it has. Okay? Uh, much like it, the Sharp-Eyed Rookie for 2 is a 2-2 two -two with Vigilance. And whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, its power is greater than the Rookie's. Uh, power or toughness. Um, create a clue, and it gets plus one, plus one, which is great. So we're utilizing these low mana value creatures that can um, grow, right? Bloated Contaminator is certainly going to push them up as a 4-4. Four, four. It has Trample and Toxic, which is nice. When it deals damage to a player, proliferate. We have plenty of plus one, plus one uh, counters to go around. Speaking of which, we'll also utilize... For consistency's sake, the Cenote Scout. This is a 1-mana, one 1-1. One, one. When Cenote Scout enters the battlefield, it explores, which is great. Of course, that's uh, revealing the top card of your library if it's a land into hand. If it's a non-land, you can choose to leave it there, put it into your grave, and put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on the Scout. Removal via hard-hitting question. Three copies of this 1-mana sorcery speed. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to uh, target creature or planeswalker you don't control. Absolutely love it. One mana is very nice. And then we have the Axe Bane Ferrex for four mana as a 4-4 four, four with Death Touch, Haste, and Ward Collect Evidence. Four. Uh, this is quite nice. In all honesty, that Haste Death Touch is really, really good. And if we can give it, um, dare I say, Trample... Um, you know, we're really going to like that as well, whether it be through the Grizzly or the Alchemist ability. Uh, that's phenomenal. Of course, you can also open up your attack lanes with the hard hitting question. We have 22 lands in deck, the forest and who endures, just keeping it simple, keeping it uh, groovy. And um, the consistency here is very, very nice. Uh, you should be rolling through your opponents with what feels to be a mono red deck, in all honesty. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the deck tech. We're going to slay some opponents now. And I get slayed a couple times as well. Believe you me. Uh, thanks again to Wizards for hosting the event. All of the other creators who were involved. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member. Join the community Discord. But most importantly, kick back, relax, and enjoy today's gameplay. Going first, keeping seven. Um, could you pick yourself up? You're in pieces. What happened? Did you get hit by the wagon? Oh no, hit and run. That was a hit and run. <laughs> oh, he's back. I'm back, bro. Rookie is a nice turn too. Was a nice turn too. It happens. I want the fourth land so we can double plot, honestly. That would be barst. Oh, I like Kemba. I'm going to explore and then plot if we don't get a land. I need that. I guess let's trample it. And then saddle with the scout. I guess, I think it actually already had trample. It, this gave it trample, didn't it? Yeah, okay. Sorry. First time with the deck. Viewer submitted deck. What do you, well, I mean, it's not defending anything, anyways. Kemba's good. I like Kemba. I just take the damage. That's fine. This could be chilling. I don't think it matters much. Okay. Wedding announcement, you know? 
No protection for it. Take Kemba. They probably bring it back, and they've seen that coming, right? So. Keep plotting. And then uh, saddle the summoning sickness creature. And we attack. Trample goes out. See, I learned how it worked. <laughs> well, I wish I could take credit for this deck. Um, a lot of people were theory crafting alongside myself uh, for the release of this set. So, um, showcasing. Some of the cooler stuff. This is actually great. Wow. Some nice tokens there. They do have to like get rid of that though, is the thing. Right? If they can pass it to us or just self-destroy it even, it's not terrible. Like uh, a Rite of Oblivion, Sacrifice, for example. So we're just going to take the draw here, and then this will be a four next turn. Oh, no draw? Oh, that was before. We already, I thought it was whenever it entered. Again, wish I could take credit. We still pressure them. Trample's fantastic, right? And then these tokens aren't nearly as good without uh, flipped wedding announcements as well. Trample not only removes them, but gets through with some additional damage. All right, just hammering home. Mm. Field wipes are going to field wipe, though, you know? Field wipes be field wiping. They're looking at the cards. They're like, which one do I remove? They're all so terrible. <laughs> They're all so bad. Now, they did gain um, six life here. They also gained two life here, as well as one from Kemba. Or maybe two from Kemba. So plenty of life gain on their end so far. More here. Uh, typically, we would not have to do this much damage. Oh, the greed. Wow. That's pretty cool. That is cool. I do not mind at all. Okay. Nothing to sacrifice. So they don't have to. Let's... Yeah, not bad. I think I would just like to hit for four. It'd be cool if you could saddle after attackers were declared on a vigilance creature. Right? That would be decent. They have, you know, massive card advantage here. I'm running a, a little bit back, but we can maybe catch up. They need to sacrifice that. I am assuming Rite of Oblivion, but maybe you know, maybe this guy get lost it or something. I don't know. I see Mondrak in the graveyard, which I really like. I have an Orzhov token deck. I don't know if we included Mondrak in it though. Kemba 
is it Kemba? Campbell? Kemba? Campbell. Very good card. Kaya can get the removal here. That's that's pretty good. It's definitely not bad. Goodbye, Hydra. Yeah. So exile, uh, no tokens. Kind of a bummer. They just sacrifice the uh, decay token, I assume. Taking two. Oh, is this saddle one? Oh, it's saddle one. This doesn't have haste though, so doesn't matter much, but. Still good. Please don't field wipe me. I don't care about the token. I care about those pretty little health points. On the three. The 1-1 one, one is a 2-2 two, two still, you know, I don't think terribly relevant. They've gained so much life. Uh, the Gambit's actually been taking a bit of that life back, though. Um, a bit of it. I think it's still net positive right now and break even at the start uh, or the end of turn here when it triggers. Um, but this is still very good. They need to do it. No, they can't do it. You can't do this on the stack. Oh. That's the one. They could have removal for one, uh, two, right? Not even one. No way. Don't you dare. Oh, they dared. They dared. It's always the last card in hand. <laughs> hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It's uh, not the first time, probably won't be the last time. Kaya for tokens, now this for double tokens. Oh my god, this is game. That was a game. No, they lose here. They lose. They lose the game. They need life gain or they lose. Is that how you dance? Maybe they can destroy it. Maybe they somehow top deck the perfect spell. No, no, they actually... Lose that life when it leaves the battlefield, I guess. I should read these cards more. I should read these cards more. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield, you draw three cards, gain six life, make three two ones. We knew this. At the beginning of your end step, discard a card, lose two life, and sacrifice a creature. We knew this. But when it leaves the battlefield, you discard three cards, lose six life, and sacrifice three creatures. You have to be passing control of this to your opponent. You can't leave it in play. Well, you could bounce it and replay it. You could flicker it. Wouldn't that be good? Oh, I'll pass it to your opponent. I don't think you can just sit on it, though. All right. Going first to land. That's okay. Not bad. Adaptive. Um, you're not really into much.
Let's plot it. Maya, please don't turn off my computer. She always steps on the power button. Oh, this that was just the fans this time. We're okay. All right, looking for another land. So this being cast for free here is just gas, gas, gas. Then we get the removal. Gas, gas, gas. And we hit for two. Not really great because we don't have another land, but hey! There it is. There it is. I don't mind just taking it. I would have really liked to play the Grizzly there, but missing the land the turn before just totally stops that. Some interaction on the whale. Return to hand, bug. Shoutouts to everybody still running that. Cool beans. I'm not playing decks with return to hand because this happens. It's just like, it ruins the experience. And then eventually your opponent runs out of timeouts and just concedes the match. We had a really cool Simic deck, but uh, we chose not to run it because of the bug. All right, game client crash in three, two, one. <laughs> cool mechanic to abuse on opening day. It's been reported, people know about it. I know, I'll run a Simic deck. Oh, and now you're going to emote me? You're hilarious. Crash my game client and then emote me. Thanks, bro. Have fun crashing the next client. Okay, opponent goes first. Let's keep seven. Let's get some explore on. It's not a land, so it has to go. I'm just going to play it regularly. I want to have multiple bodies. And I was worried about removal there. Harvester's good. Is there a cut down, though? That's the big question. We'll have it answered here. 
No, but they do draw. Let's take a hit and plot. Hopefully we find our fourth. Seeker's not bad. Self-sacrifice on the aloe? Okay, just a glare. Nice. Nice. Good removal. No attack for the turn. Ooh, nice. That's a big boy. Push up our adaptive, push up our rookie. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. That Rakdos is big, dude. Freaking Chonkarama. Four cards in hand. We have to assume that there's more removal. At least it doesn't have Vigilance. Whenever you sacrifice another creature, XL cards equal to its mana value from the top of target player's library until the end of your next turn. You may play those cards. Uh, mana can be spent as any type. And sacrifice a creature instant speed. It's going to gain indestructible until end of turn and you tap it. Okay. They're removing a creature. They're gaining access to three cards, which is obsessive. One of them is a fight spell. Nice. That's fantastic. That's really good. Oh, I like that a lot. That's that's good. That's good. Of all the cards they got. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. Seems fine. I need a uh, land. I need that fourth land. We bricked out pretty badly here. Could they... Well, I guess they want the creature. They could have self-sacked to dealt damage and then glared the token, but they know what they're doing. Really? It's not good. That's not good. We've uh, bricked pretty aggressively here. Definitely slowing our rate of play. Blocking the four, taking four. <gasps> they could chump block, right? I think that would be really good. Oh, the token doesn't have mana value, though. It's zero. So that wouldn't do Mitch. I mean, you could get indestructible on it. It's already tapped. They end up just taking all of the damage. Interesting. Oh! The cauldron. The cauldron. The cauldron's in game. Activated abilities. Which they have the harvester. They have the thrill seeker. On the token, right? We don't want to sacrifice the muscle. But you would get to look at a lot of cards. On Rakdos. 
and then uh, hit for lethal. Good game. Right? If not having lethal, the token, but because it is lethal, I think Rakdos is just uh, the way to go, right? Great game. All right, let's get after it. Um, hopefully we don't brick. Oh, I'm sure we won't. <laughs> Hit for four. I mean, that's not terrible. No land. Ouch. A little brickaroni. Arena, you're so funny. Hit for six. We should have drawn for a land, played the land, then removed, but there's probably not even a third land in this entire deck. <laughs> no, you don't think? It still pushes up the rookie. And I think that's great. We still hit for seven. That's down to three. They end up taking it. Whoa! Good game. It's just like a, an aggro deck, you know? Keep it simple. Not a lot of wild cards included in this build while still utilizing new cards. Love to see it. All right, on the draw, let's keep seven. So... I assume this is the Asian Avenger. But their name has been... All our names have been shortened. <laughs> Just the Asian. <laughs> oh. My. God. Wizards. <laughs> oh, no. I wonder who else's name has been shortened into something kind of silly. I like Kavrik. That's a good card. Very good card. Hmm, a little slow here. Nothing for them to really crime yet. No blocks. It's all yours. Down to 11. Ouchie. Oh, man. They should have played that first. And, uh, oh, man, I'm screwed is a, a, another good way to, to say all this. Vigilance is nice. Maybe they don't block the 3-3. Three, three. They should look and see that we've played a land this turn and we're totally tapped. But it's worth the bluff. Just play quick. Maybe they're like, no, that blood letter is high priority. I'm not blocking. It's got vigilance anyways. <laughs> Wait till they hover over my land and then, and then block. All right. Miss Maya will keep us company while we wait. Me, yeah. Have to move the wheel back a bit. Okay, we do see the block. Good block. Oh. All of the cat comes. Now there's the new three mana spell that could just kill us. 
which will be fun to see. We have blocks we will use. They, I assume, will remove. Da -da -da. Am I uh, losing six life here? No, what did they just do? They searched for a card, which is the win the game card. Right? Hide your full swing yellow? Well, no. Two blockers. I guess, yeah. They both have vigilance. They both have vigilance. So we'll get some trades maybe. Reduces their potential damage output. They could still uh, blitz it. I wanted to say unearth because it was from the grave, but it's a blitz. We have blockers, but we're probably just dead. Um, what's that new card called? I guess we'll get to see it here in a second. They had to have just searched for it. There's no way they did anything but that. Let's see it. Nice two-card OTK, no matter how much life you have. probably reading the card out to their chat getting the fireworks ready lighting them <laughs> check this out turning the gopro on you know and then there it is so for some reason, that took all that time to do, but it's a good game anyways. Okay, doggly. So yeah, Calper's like, hey, how much uh, for you to play this deck? So we, we make a deal, a couple subs, right? Uh, to the Twitch channel. And uh, he shows me the deck. Was like, this, this is it? I'm, I'm a little underwhelmed. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little underwhelmed, but uh, the Al alchemist oh no right <laughs> what is the beast of, what are these cards you know these are a lot of commons and uncommons to be putting in your deck don't you know how i build rares mythics you put those two tabs on and then you just add and then you win games it's that easy <laughs> no i'm just kidding so uh the deck is actually performing the plot mechanic decent very very nice uh i've got my own build that's not mono green. I've added a little white to it, trying to spice it up. But uh, this is entirely unique to what my mono green build would be if I were to have one, right? Uh, more on that as it comes out in future weeks. But uh, this is working. This is not bad. So thank you for sharing, Calper. I appreciate it. If anybody else wants to share their deck, you know, I, I'd love the financial support. So join that community Discord. Even if you just want some help, I'm, I'm happy to give my feedback. Of course, we could make it into a video, though. Yeah. Uh, if not, just the likes, the comments, uh, the subscriptions, they really help as well. Most importantly, though, make sure that you have a magical day for me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you soon in the next.